Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to clean up messy data using OpenRefine, which is an open source application which can be downloaded for free very easily. So once you have the application downloaded, uh, I have already imported the data set. Uh, it's a data set that I myself have created. And for this short tutorial, we're just going to focus on fixing, uh, cleaning up this column here. As you can see, it's riddled with multiple inconsistencies, which you could edit, edit one by one, but you don't want to do that with uh, a much larger data set. So what you're going to do is you're going to invoke the text facet, which groups them. And as you can see, although these should all be part of the same group, they are not because of the formatting inconsistencies. And what you can do is you can trim the spaces before and after the text, which already groups them much more concisely. And then what you want to do is you want to remove these spaces in between the text. And you can do this by invoking the transform function and replacing the space with not a space. And once you're done with that, you can see it's a much, much cleaner column. And it's just the various dosages that are enlisted. That was my short tutorial on how to clean up datasets using OpenRefine. Although there are multiple different functions that OpenRefine offers to clean up datasets, you can sort your dataset, remove duplicates, create graphs, uh, and many other functions. Although this application does come with its list of pros and cons, its pros being that it is a simple user interface, that it your data, although it is on a web application, it remains private and does not get uploaded. The application supports multiple file types like Excel, Word, Notepad, etc. Whereas the cons are that it is, in fact, a new language that you might have to learn, a programming language. You can perform basic functions such as the add additions of rows, which requires extensions to be downloaded. And it also lacks in descriptive statistics such as mean, mode, and median. Thank you for watching my tutorial, and I hope you learned something.